Hi, I'm going to explain how to clean up after throwing. Um, this method will save the most amount of clay um, in the reclaim and it will also minimize water consumption and hopefully uh, minimize the amount of clay you're spreading around the studio. So the first thing that you do, uh, I already did this, but I'll just show you with one tool really quick, is you have your water bucket here that you threw with. Um, and right now my wheel head is really dirty. My deck is really dirty. I have some stuff up here. So what the first thing you're really gonna do is clean off your tools using your little sponge or um, it's also nice to have a big one around. Clean off all your tools in your water bucket. Um, if your water is really, really dirty, then I would go and put the dirty water into the reclaim, get some clean water for this. But I only threw like five pieces or so, so my water's not crazy dirty. Um, so I wiped down all my tools. They look pretty clean at this stage. If you want to, you can take it to the sink and give it a rinse under clean water, but this is oftentimes um, clean enough. You can't see any clay on it, so that's fine. Put your tools away in your container. Next, what you're gonna do is um, get all the slop out of your um, splash pan. You can either take this directly to the um, reclaim, or you can just do it right in your bucket if you have room in your bucket and all that water will go into reclaim. So I'm just gonna show you really quick how to do it um, into the reclaim. Make sure you're matching the right clay to the reclaim bucket because um, you don't wanna contaminate. So first you're just gonna pour all of the slop directly into the bucket. And you see I brought over my little sponge. Um, I'll do this on the other hand. And then I'm just using some of the clean water on top. Even if it's not clean, that's no big deal. This is just the first stage of cleaning. So um, you're trying to get roughly 90% of the clay off. That's a good goal. I'm wiping down any um, clay that really wants to stick on there. Make sure you get the back side too. Okay. I'm gonna go grab the other one real quick. So the thing to keep in mind is um, we're trying to get, do this in such a way that um, we're never really contaminating already clean water unless it's at the very beginning. Um, and we're trying to reclaim as much of this clay as possible because all of these, all the slop is where the fine particles are. And those fine particles are what make our reclaimed clay um, nice and plastic, meaning easier to throw and um, sculpt. And when I say sculpt, I'm thinking about slabs. Um, when you bend slabs, you want that clay nice and plastic so it doesn't just crack. You want small particles in between the big particles so they don't, clay doesn't crack. So more clay we can save, um, the more environmentally friendly it is, but also the more plastic our reclaim is. Okay, so now you can see I have both of these. I haven't even touched the sink yet. They are 90% free of any um, clay. So now I'm just going to take these back over here for now and set them on my throwing seat so I'm not clogging up the reclaim so someone else can use it. Okay, so now um, all my tools are clean, my splash pans clean, are cleanish. Now I'm just gonna take a large sponge and wipe down the deck. So, get my deck nice and clean. Um, 
be sure to also clean off the wheel head and be sure to get the sides. Some clay can stick on there, especially if you're using red clay. Um, you have to be pretty diligent about cleaning because we don't want to contaminate the red and the white clay for someone who might be using um, white stoneware after you. They'll find red streaks in their clay. So um, last step is to spot check the floor. So I'm just going to go over and check for any kind of big splashes. Um, maybe wipe down this and the legs, the sides. Give that a wipe. Um, you can also check your seat. Give that a little spot check. Okay. Um, now I'm going to go over, got my dirty water here. Um, I'm going to dump it into the reclaim. Uh, before you dump your dirty water, just stick your hand in your bucket and make sure that you don't have any tools in there. Just give, your, give it a quick check. Um, great, you don't. So now I'm gonna pour that dirty water into the reclaim. Now, um, the second phase of cleaning is, I'm just going to tell you this because it's basically everything we just did, but with cleaner water. So um, oftentimes also, You'll get sludge in here when you just pour your dirty water in. Make sure you grab your sponge and get that out because that's the good stuff. We want to keep that. Okay, so second stage, basically going to do everything all over again, um, except for with cleaner water. So I'm going to fill this bucket up maybe a third to a half full, um, bring it back over to my throwing station and wipe everything down a second time, starting from top to bottom. So I'm first starting with my tools if I feel like they need another um, another hit and then wiping down your splash pans, your wheel head, the deck, chair, and then your last step is to get the floor one more time. Um, when you're putting everything together, so when you're all done and clean, your wheel should always look the way you found it. So you're going to put your splash pans back on. I always like to put the back one on first um, and then the second one, give it a good slam so it's locked together. Make sure you turn off your wheel. Make sure it's in the off position. There's usually a green light, even on the Brents too, there's a green light that should be off um, before you put your chair on because we don't want someone to accidentally hit that pedal and it'll go flying and it could hit someone in the head or something should not be good so um also when you're doing your second check be sure the area in front of your wheel is clean too but when you're done your wheel should look like this and then you are free to go all right thanks so when you're all done cleaning i just did my second wipe down i have um my second bucket of water here your wheel should look like this so the wheel should be in the turned off position. Your chair should be on top. And you can put your pedal up on top too. Um, and then you're going to just take your dirty water, your second dirty water, bring it over to reclaim and dump it. Make sure there's no sludge in there. If there is, you can take a little water splash around. Oftentimes that'll get it out. And then at this, at this stage, if your bucket isn't super clean, you can take that to the sink and wipe it out. Um, but at no stage should you ever just take something super dirty and bring it straight to the sink because then we're not reclaiming that clay. And also that clay is going down the sink, which is not ideal. Once you've cleaned your wheel, um, I'd also like you to wipe down a heat gun if you used it, um, because if we don't wipe them down, then clay gets in all of these little crevices and they stop working. Uh, so just give it a good wipe down with your big sponge. Um, and be really careful not to touch this end, especially if you just used it because it's gonna be really hot. Um, give the cord a good wipe and then you can put it back in the 
bike um, water bottle rack by your wheel. Um, once you've done that, another thing that you need to do, uh, if you may forget to do this, um, a lot of time you'll have your pots like sitting out on your table uh, that you just threw. So you need to put those on your shelf, make sure they get back on your shelf. Um, I'm just cleaning out my sponge here, never turning the sink on directly because it's really dirty right now. So I'm just actually rinsing it out first in the container that is in this each sink. Um, that'll get the most dirty water out, or the most clay out. And then I'm going to turn the sink on pretty low and just clean it out. You'll notice that I'm not squishing the water out into the sink, I'm actually squishing it out into the container because that's catching any um, clay particles from going down the sink. So now I have a pretty clean sponge. I'm going to take that sponge, um, move all of my pots to your shelf. Okay, so I've got my sponge here. It's super wet. Um, so I'm just gonna give it a good wipe. And you can see how wet it is. Um, this is really good. The wetter, the cleaner your table will get. So I'm just gonna also wipe down this area. And then once you're done wiping down your table, you can go and clean your sponge out um, in the container in the sink, and then you're good to go.